This weekend, uh, President Trump with a statement uh, saying that predicting his own arrest uh, this Tuesday. The grand jury is meeting in New York today, and we know that there are witnesses going in uh, to testify. It's a unique process there to uh, say that, in fact, uh, this should not be there should not be an indictment. So you've got attorneys, former attorneys, uh, going in to testify to the grand jury. There's an active grand jury. We know that, and uh, an indictment could be issued as early as tomorrow. And there was something that caused President Trump, and it's likely this attorney going in, and this final dad kind yeah. of fu- – he was offered. So when you're offered a couple weeks ago, usually that means they're coming to the close when Correct. you're the target. Usually you're the last witness. So he, of course, target, he declined. Which is the right thing to do. And now you've got a situation where the New York attorney, uh, the DA, has is allowing a lawyer who um, was involved in the case to now testify, but he's being put up by Robert Costello, he's a good lawyer, I know him, um, being put up by uh, President Trump's, it appears that President Trump's lawyers want him to testify to the grand jury to probably counteract some of the other statements that are made here. The, the most unique aspect of this, besides the fact that it's unprecedented that a former president's actually facing a criminal proceeding, is this charge, if it was in a normal situation, which of course it's not because it's all political here, would normally at best, if you could even make that case out, and I, I doubt seriously you could, would be a misdemeanor. And... Uh, of course, they're trying to do this as a felony, and they're trying to do it as a felony by basically asserting that um, there's a campaign finance component to this, uh, the business records, which is what they're talking about here, and the, how these business records were recorded. So that, to me, is it's an interesting dynamic on all of this, and that in a normal situation, you wouldn't be finding yourselves in a felony uh, grand jury proceeding. But that, and by the way, this case, they, Mark Pomerantz, who was one of the attorneys in the New York DA's office, who was originally charged by Cy Vance. Remember, we handled the Supreme Court case involving that same office on the tax returns. And the interesting thing there is that lawyer's written a book. And in his book, he talks about this was the zombie case. It was dead and then it would come back to life and then dead again and then back to life and then dead again. And then he quit. He and Kerry Dunn, who I was my colleague that argued in the other representing the New York DA's office um, in the Supreme Court case, they both quit because Alvin Bragg would not prosecute this case right. because it was a quote novel legal theory. And why would you try a novel legal theory against a anybody, let alone a former president? So Roy Arn Rubble said, "How did Trump know he'll be arrested? Can they really do that? Will the Secret de- Secret Service detail out? They've kind of answered the question. He knows because his, the Secret Service has been consulted already." Yes, that's on a, what would happen if he is indicted this week. Yeah, this is really outrageous. Yeah, that a case that has been dormant now for three different times, it's gone to the grave. But as Justice Scalia said, like a ghoul in a late night horror show, this thing keeps to you know shuffles abroad and the zombies back. And if this of all the things they've been investigating, and we go through that list, yeah. an impeachment, which we handled. The Bob Mueller investigation on Russia and obstruction and collusion and, and all of this. And then you had the whole, then you had a second impeachment. Then you had the proceedings on the tax returns with both Congress and the district attorney's office. And at the end of the day, what do they end up with? Taking a misdemeanor count, maybe, and trying to convert it to a, a felony. To me, th- this shows you what a ridiculous nature this entire process is. Yeah, I mean, two impeachments, two special counsels, one active right now. Uh, the DA in New York previous DA, the current DA, the uh, DA in Atlanta is still going uh, in Fulton County, the AG of New York. Okay, that's not even talking about the congressional investigations, the Supreme Court cases, the tax returns, all of those issues. The political persecution of Donald Trump is real. Wherever you are politically, 